Hi, hello, welcome to my channel Learn More Math. My name is Varak Kumar. Today we are going to solve problems from exercise 2.4 from second chapter sets. So already we have completed exercise 2.3 uh, total problems. Uh, now we have to do problems in exercise 2.4. Uh, uh, this is first problem in exercise 2.4. Uh, see here what he is asking to find as uh, a state which of the following sets are empty and which are not so here he has given some sets here he is asking to find as which are empty and which are not empty so totally in the first problem there are five bits so these three i have written here this is the first bit the set of lines passing through a given point so first before this you must have clear idea about a empty set what is an empty set a set which has no elements in it is called an empty set a set which has no elements in it is called an empty set so empty as it name says that there will be no elements so it is empty so there are no elements in it so that is empty set so see here the set of lines passing through a given point so see here uh, the set of lines passing through a given point he is saying so this is the point are there any lines passing through this point yes there will be so many lines so this is passing through the point it is also passing through the points so there will be so many lines passing through the given points hence there are all these are elements in the given set there are some elements hence it is not empty set it is not empty so here see here it is a not empty set not empty so why it is not empty so there are elements in the given set what are the elements all these lines are the elements so there are so many lines that are passing through a given point so there are elements in the set if there are elements it is not empty so the first one is not empty so next coming to the second bit set of odd natural numbers divisible by 2 so first what are the odd natural numbers before that what are the natural numbers all counting numbers are called natural numbers so they start from 1 so they are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and so on all these numbers are called natural numbers so here odd natural numbers what are the odd natural numbers 1 3 5 7 9 and so on all these are called odd natural numbers he is saying that odd natural numbers divisible by 2 so odd numbers are in the form of 2n plus 1 they are not divisible by 2 they leaves remainder 1 when they divide it by 2 but he is saying that set of odd natural numbers divisible by 2 there is no such odd natural numbers divisible by 2 there is no any odd natural number is divisible by 2 hence there are no elements here in the set so here it is a uh, uh, empty set there are no elements here it is empty so we can say it is empty set it is an empty set <coughs> since there are no elements in the given set it is an empty set so next coming to the third bit set of all x such that x is a natural number x less than 5 and x greater than 7 so see here uh, x is a natural number yes what are the natural numbers uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 all these are the natural numbers but there is a condition here 
x must be less than 5 and x greater than 7 x less than 5 we can say 1 2 3 4 but they are not greater than 7 he is saying that x less than 5 and x greater than 7 there is no any element satisfying the given conditions so here it is also an empty set so there are no any elements in the given set so it is an empty set it is an empty set since there are no any elements in the given set satisfying the given condition we can say that it is an empty set so this is the third bit in the first problem next we have to solve fourth and fifth bits this is the fourth bit in the first problem uh, see here what he is asking set of all x such that x is a common point to any parallel lines he is asking to say whether the given set is a, is an empty set or not so see here uh, whether there are any elements in the given set we have to observe so see here what he is saying x is a common point to any two parallel lines so see here uh, what are the parallel lines first of all see here uh, uh, these two are the parallel lines so let it is line l1 and it is l2 these two are the parallel lines x is a common point so is there any common point common point means that point should lie on the two lines suppose if i write uh, intersecting lines so now this is the common point for both this is the common point this is the common point for intersecting lines for intersecting lines but he is saying that uh, a common point for parallel lines is there any common point for these parallel lines there is no common point since here uh, uh, these are the parallel lines uh, there is no common point here uh, there is no common point hence we can say it is an empty set it is an empty set since there are no elements it is an empty set it is an empty set since there are no any elements in the given set it is an empty set so next to fifth to it set of even prime numbers so what are the prime numbers the numbers which have only two factors one and itself are called prime numbers so prime numbers are two 3, 5, 7, 11, 13 and so on. All these are the prime numbers. Among all these prime numbers, only 2 is an even prime remaining. All prime numbers are odd prime numbers. So here set of even prime numbers. Yes, 2 is an even prime number. So here there is one element in the given set. Hence, it is not an empty set. It is not empty set. It is not an empty set. So, since there is one element, we can say it is not an empty set. So, this is the fifth bit. So, in the first problem, there are five bits. So, we have completed all the five bits. So next we have to solve second problem from exercise 2.4. This is the second problem in exercise 2.4. So we have completed first problem. There are only two problems in exercise 2.4. So first problem we have completed. This is the second problem. In the second problem there are seven bits. Uh, see here what he is asking state whether the following sets are finite or infinite so this is the first bit the set of months in a year so before that you must have clear idea about the finite set and infinite set what is a finite set so if there are countable number of elements in a set then it is called a finite set if there are uncountable number of elements in a set then it is called an infinite set so if it is possible to count the number of elements in the set 
then we can say it is a finite set so otherwise it is infinite set so this is the first one the set of months in a year so what are the months in a year january february march april may june july august september october november december so how many elements are there whether the elements are countable or not there are 12 elements hence they are countable 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 hence it is a finite set it is a finite set since the elements are countable so it is a finite set it is a finite set the first one is finite set so next second one set of 1 2 3 dash dash 9900 so here also we have to check whether the elements are countable or not how many elements are there it is very clear 1 2 3 9900 so up to 9900 is there there are totally 100 elements here how many elements 100 elements we are saying the total number of elements very clearly hence it is also a finite set it is a finite set it is a finite set it is a finite set so next third one the set of prime numbers smaller than 99 so what are the prime numbers smaller than 99 or the prime numbers uh, smaller than 99 there will be 25 prime numbers smaller than 99 so they are countable so see here what are they 2 3 5 7 11 13 17 19 23 29 31 37 41 43 47 53 57 61 67 71 73 79 83 87 97 so these are the 25 prime numbers less than 99 so the elements are countable we are saying the total number of elements in the given set hence it is also a finite set it is a finite set it is a finite set so next uh, fourth one the set of letters in the english alphabet so what are the letters in english alphabet a b c d e f g h i j k l m n o p q r s t u v w x y z so these are the letters in english alphabet so whether they are countable or not yes we can count how many are there there are 26 letters so it is also a finite set it is a finite set it is a finite set so uh, these are the first four bits in the second problem so there are seven bits next we have to solve fifth bit uh, this is the fifth bit in the second problem uh, again we have to say whether the given set is a finite set or an infinite set so see here the set of lines that can be drawn are parallel to the x axis so see here are there any lines parallel to the x axis is are there countable or not are they countable or not just see here uh, uh, this is y axis and it is x axis so how many lines can we draw parallel to the x axis so these are the lines parallel to the x axis how many are there so we can draw infinitely many lines that are parallel to the x axis so here the elements of the set are uncountable uncountable 
so here hence it is an infinite set it is an infinite set so it is an infinite set since the elements of the set are uncountable so it is an infinite set so next sixth one the set of numbers which are multiples of 5 so what are the multiples of 5 by multiplying 1 2 3 by 5 we can get multiples of 5 5 into 1 5 into 2 5 into 3 5 into 4 5 into 5 5 into 6 5 into 7 so these are the multiples of 5 so see here i am writing here 5 into 1 is 5 5 into 2 is 10 5 into 3 is 15 5 into 4 is 20 5 into 5 is 25 and so on up to where so here the number of elements are uncountable so it is also an infinite set so it is an infinite set it is an infinite set since the number of elements are uncountable it is an infinite set since the number of elements are uncountable it is an infinite set so next seventh one the set of circles passing through the origin so see here uh, so uh, this is uh, origin x axis y axis the point of intersection is origin so he is asking the set of circles passing through the origin so how many can we draw we can draw so many infinitely many circles we can draw here also so here uh, it is also an infinite set it is an infinite set so here the number of circles are uncountable here the number of circles are like this we can draw so many circles that should passing through the origin so here it is also an infinite set so these are the seven bits in the second problem so in exercise 2.4 there are only two problems so we have completed two problems successfully so that's all student so we have completed total check and uh, total chapter sets so in the next class we will learn either fifth or seventh i will decide so depending upon the choice of the students so that's all today's class student thanks for watching